stacking Lego, get your clicks. Get up and get down at your Debo Bricks. So today we're taking a look here at um, the history and the evolution of my city, Gotham Manhattan Tropolis. Uh, so it started out on a bookshelf uh, when it was like 2007, not long after the Batman uh, series started coming out from Lego. Uh, pretty successful theme, it's still going today. Uh, but it wasn't long before it broke out from that shelf. Ended up uh, in the living room on a perfectly sized little coffee table. So uh, six base plates by two base plates. And over time it, it grew more pieces I got, more I put them back into the buildings and, you know, such. And, uh, the blue skyscraper you see in the back there, we'll see here in a little bit the bones of it. Because uh, I kind of did a little construction site while I was waiting for the pieces, so you'll see that here in a second. And the yellow building for a long time was uh, kind of a hotel, so that pops up again and again. Uh, as does the Egyptian Museum. Because I have... Uh, I kind of hoarded a lot of pieces from Egyptian theme sets uh, from back in the day. Uh, and eventually, uh, even a Stargate pops into there. Uh, some of these pictures are not the greatest, I do apologize, but they're of the time. <laughs> and I don't have that many of them, so um, showing you what I got. But the blue building, I wish you could see what's inside of that, because that is essentially just a, a floor-to-ceiling garage inside there. Uh, the Beatles uh, making their appearance in town uh, and they're still playing today. We'll see them later on. Uh, different forms here and there. Uh, I like what happened with this uh, building here with the crooked windows in front. So that kind of stuck around for a while uh, before I found a different use for them. You see different side buildings. They go through changes. I mean sometimes these things are up for weeks. Sometimes they're up for like years. Uh, but, you know, it just depends on what pieces I get in, how long it takes to rebuild it, and <laughs> get it to a satisfactory place. Um, but yeah, you can see through all these pictures here, there's the there's the bones of the blue building. Um, but yeah, these, these buildings have gone under many, many different uh, rebuilds. Especially the museum. <laughs> that, that, that museum. Uh, but there's always been some kind of apartment buildings. There's always been kind of a, you know, blue police building in town. Uh, there's always pretty much been that train. Uh, that was from the hobby train set that came out uh, from Lego Factory way back in the day. And I tweaked it a little bit here and there. And eventually I eliminated that third car and made it into a different thing these days. But... Uh, there's a timestamp on there for the Beatles. Oh, they're getting they're getting blurry up there on the rooftop. Uh, but you'll also see one or two pictures where uh, I replace the batteries here and the timestamp reset. Uh, but there's always been a pizza place in town since uh, <laughs> at least 2010. Um, Diamond Shop has always been a thing. Triple X shop next door to it. And since I had those three slopes, I was like, why not? Uh, and I've, I've always tried to get public spaces in there, you know, places for, you know, folks to walk around and maybe sit and breathe for a bit. And there, there's even a set of photos that I, I guess I never took of uh, not long after what we're seeing here, I had kind of an L coming out that had a different... Uh, Another couple different buildings that, that eventually ended up making their way into the new house when we moved over there. Uh, but this is still from that coffee table. And once we move to the new house, we you'll, you'll see it's, it's going to be on black uh, folding tables for a period. And then it switches to over to white tables, which is what they're sitting on now. Thanks to Ikea. Um, and this is one of my favorite times in the city, I think, when it was looking its best. All the buildings just just looked really nice right 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 at this time so so I'm leaving a 
leaving some of the pictures in for those. And see here, the now the white building is the uh, museum. Now we've made the move. Now uh, you can see kind of the half circle there that's going to end up being the opera house in a, in a bit. Uh, you also have um, cantilevers happening, and the blue building still still persisting here for a, for a little while. Um, that purple and brown apartment building next door was always a fun one. Here's the Beatles again, and there's uh, the mosque at its height, I believe, when it was looking its best when it took up a full 32 by 32. Um, various superheroes strewn about the room because uh, that's just kind of the way things ended up going. So uh, it's kind of a superhero themed city because yeah, that's what it started as. You know, it was, a, it was like a little strip of Gotham. Uh, <laughs> with a street chase. Uh, but there's the purple and brown building. Uh, I got some decent pictures of it before it got torn down. It housed a lot of Potter figures uh, for quite a, quite a time. Uh, so Snape held out there for a while. Now Snape's on a plane. Um, Hagrid, he had his own floor in there. And it just looked a, a little, a little old timey, you know, a little cobbled together. Here's very early Doctor Strange house. I mean, early. This is this is still sussing the thing out and trying to figure out um, the space inside there. Uh, this is the beginning of the layering for the underground portion, just because cars became too crazy, so I had to get an underground uh, thing happening there. And it absorbed the uh, train too, so it became a subway, uh, which was was pretty nice. <laughs> You'll see some random stuff uh, in here as well. Um, that's the opera still playing today. Uh, early version of the opera house. M you know, this is a few iterations down the line. See, the Doctor Strange house is getting pretty finished. Uh, the white building hollowed out and waiting to, for something else. Now, here's here's the beginning of the interior of the uh, opened air kind of opera house thing happening. Um, <laughs> the early stage production. Uh, here's a couple flashback photos, just so you can uh, kind of get a comparison, even at this point, to what's going on and what's uh, what was and what is in, in the city. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty good stuff happening here. You know, through throughout the evolution of it, uh, a lot of Art Deco influence here and there. Uh, modernists. Uh, <laughs> sci-fi um, so yeah here's Wayne Manor um, under construction early on uh, in the sussing it out phase trying to see what kind of space I can get out of it uh, Ghost Rider tearing stuff up just because he's Ghost Rider right and some more uh, <laughs> some more Doctor Who action they're just everywhere um, the city really had to start expanding once I got a hold of the uh, uh, Ghostbusters firehouse. Um, that really changed things and it, it, it forced the need to, to acquire more space. Uh, for a while, Gotham had a, uh, a third table that kind of slid in and out. You can see there where Wayne Manor was and it kind of butted up to the rest of the city, but it never really sat flush. So that whole thing kind of had to be axed. Uh, there's the the final form of the mosque before it starts to get uh, broken down and put into Wayne Manor and other places. It was uh, one of my favorite enduring little bits of the city, but sadly it just had to had to fall to urban renewal as all things do. Uh, the yellow building in its nigh final form <laughs> there. Uh, early version in the sussing out of the hotel there. Uh, Beatles. Some clean, fresh instruments going on there. Uh, a little mayhem happening in town. Uh, here's a look at the Bat Cave. And we can see uh, some of the interior stuff. And I mean, the core of the Bat Cave kind of stayed the same, but it did change a little bit over time. A uh, little water area there that's uh, next to the Bat Cave in uh, Wayne Manor. I'm trying to get as much. Uh, Okay, there, there's a decent side view of the opera house. Um, 
and everything in here is modular so the buildings can change spots i mean they're all on base plates sitting on top of a uh, technic brick so they slide pretty easily uh and they're not too horrible once they get into the spot they don't really slide around much they're they're pretty secure um <laughs> I even I even took the Beatles and tried to make them a Lego, Lego idea set, but uh, that was kind of a fail. Okay, early early to late construction on the uh, Opera House. There we see the glazing of the uh, cantilevered rotunda. Uh, dots in the water. That was that was a big step. Uh, speaking of water, here's the Wayne Manor all finished up with the fountain lit up at night. And that one was uh, it was a pretty special thing. I didn't think I was going to be able to light it until I started explaining to somebody why I couldn't light it. And then at, during the you know 15 seconds it took me to explain that, I figured out how I could light it. Uh, interior of Doctor Strange's house there. Now this is the um, the city as it was submitted to Bricks by the Bay in 2021, where it won Best Large Display because you know it was virtual and I didn't have to move this thing. You know, I could just take the pictures and show them. And yeah, yeah, we got Best Large Display. Woot woot! Thank you everybody that voted for it. Um, <laughs> crowning achievement, yeah, yeah. Uh, although the the even still today the city is being rebuilt. Uh, this lighthouse has been rebuilt a couple few times. This this building right here, this is the latest version of the police station uh, as it stands now. It has opening doors in front, Lego store in the bottom, uh, and pretty much city service is up in there. It's not the greatest looking as far as the interior floors go. I mean, there's a lot of exposed stud, um, but that just helps more people be able to stand in place because, you know, city hall, especially when you get to the upper floors, people are going to crowd in there. Uh, especially in the jail section. Uh, but the Beatles are on the rooftop there, uh, playing right in front of the bat signal, so all is well. Uh, updated version of the pizza shop and final form of the hotel. Uh, and of course, Galactus around this time came into, came into the city. And there it is in, in Cinemascope. Looking pretty decent. Pretty decent. But I mean, it's it's changed even now. There's 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 so much more to show you. Um, and I'm going to go through a really quick night version here. Um, I did not mute the audio on this one. So I can't believe that. Um, so yeah, I, I just took care of that so we don't hear the little blips and blops of the sped up thing. But I put that on 8 times speed because I was going to go through and narrate this section of it. However... Uh, something happened where I couldn't reach back to the yellow building and light it up, so I was like, well, I'm kind of one building short, so I'm just going to use it as a teaser. So, I mean, it just gives you a look at the interior views a little bit better on these uh, things here. So, underneath the opera house is a complete mall. I mean, the diamond store is in there. There's a toy store, a pet store, uh, grocery and bakery on the ground floor, and yeah, that's 149 figures there. Or is it 179? It was, it was a lot. There's a, there's a lot of folks attending the opera. Uh, and there's even some video folks playing there. So there it is. We're pulling back so you can see the whole thing. And uh, of course, it's not the only thing I make out of Lego. I made all, all kinds of stuff over the last couple of years. Uh, you know, Lego Masters, I think, just sparked that in a lot of people. Uh, it made them want to, you know, diversify what they can do. So, you know, reaching out and... Uh, uh, different areas. 2D has become a thing uh, for LEGO now with uh, big mosaics push and dots, of course. And you know my love for characters and Marvel and stuff like that, so... <laughs> Speaking of characters... Um, so, I, you know, I always try and make things that I enjoy. Uh, <laughs> I try and make them so that they'll stick around. Uh, some of them I just make to see if I can make. So. Hopefully you see some good stuff here. Uh, there's videos on a lot of these things, so um, go ahead and take a look around and check out my channel, see some stuff. Thank you for watching this video. This has been a long, long thing here, and I can't believe I'm still talking. Um, but yeah, it's been been great having everybody comment and watch the videos and check out my stuff over the last year plus, and uh, yeah, it's it's pushed me on to make more. 
I don't know why we're seeing some double pictures here, but I'm not going to edit any more of this. Uh, it's been a minute since I put out a video, so I'm going to get it through. Um, yeah, this is just kind of a little a little bit of a retrospective of some of the stuff I've made since, uh, since <laughs> actually since the pandemic. Um, except for this fair and loading car that's been around for a long time. Long, long time. <laughs> uh, actually, it was in the it was in the city when it was on the uh, bookshelf. Uh, so thanks for stopping by. Check out my other stuff. Uh, there will be more. Oh yeah, I, I do have a Lego idea set or two up there. So um, maybe check those out if you get a chance. Uh, and I've I've also got uh, this larger Marvel thing with Galactus. It's like an international conference call or something. Thank you.